For what? But I can see you from here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is it? No. What? I know. What is it? What is it? What is it that you want? Oh, I know, honey. What is it that you want? You just wanted me to say hi. Well, let's go say hi to everybody else. I think he just wanted me to come and say hi to him. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. How are you? It's good to see you too. Oh, yes, it is. It's good to see you too. You're so sweet. He's such a sweet baby. But he's been calling for me this whole time. <laughs> Welcome back to Homestead Heart. And we're going to talk about what we do with them extra meat birds. I mean, those extra male chickens, those roosters. What do we do with them when we got so many? We can't keep them all, can we, Buck? Oh, we can't keep them all, can we, Buck? No, we can't. No, we can't. I know. I know. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's go back over here and talk about these roosters. What do we do with them when we have so many? And we do have a lot of them. Some of you may or may not appreciate this video. But I'm going to show you anyway what we have to do. Because we can't have a farm full of roosters. Right? We just can't. So I'm going to show you what we do. Okay? Well, I'm not going to show you, but I'll tell you. <laughs> You all, we have so many roosters here. We have two right here, okay? I don't know if you can see them, but it's one on the inside of the gate and one on the outside of the gate, okay? Yeah, two right here. Now, oh man, look. Let me show you this. We have him up there, him down there. We have him right here we have let me show you him hard in the mess like I said I'm cleaning up oh you see him there he is we have him up there yeah <clears throat> that right there is the one the only the one the only Eddie Kane <laughs> that's Eddie Kane yes he is alright now yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all about what we're planning eddie kane he's gonna be here <laughs> okay but we probably have two more roosters on the inside here so let's just talk about it the roosters why do we have so many especially since you only need one rooster to every 10 hens right so we don't need, Zeke, stop it. We don't need one, two, three, four, five, eight roosters. In addition to our two primary roosters. So we have a total of 10. So why did we allow them to grow out? What was the purpose? Now, although we process our own chickens for meat, right? And so the roosters, instead of just <coughs> getting rid of them, selling them when they get a certain size, because we've been feeding them, right? So instead of selling them, what we decided to do was to be able to have another form of meat for our boys grizz and moo right so when we raise up our ex extra roosters because we're having to find ways to be creative with feed right i mean we all know dogs are from the 
wolf family. So that means that they're used to a raw diet, not the processed stuff that we buy in the bags, right? Now, processing chickens for them and cooking that meat and then chopping it up kind of thick and coarse, you know, that would be a way for us to stretch their food because we really have to find a way to be able to feed them without depending on pedigree or imes or blue buffalo. We can't even afford that. But you all, we have to find a way to be able to feed our dogs so that they can still work on this farm in case we cannot get those things for them. We have to find a way to feed them ourselves. <clears throat> okay? So that's why we allowed the roosters to continue to grow up. And then from there, we will process them. And we're going to keep that cycle going. We're going to continue to incubate our eggs. And we'll continue to take the roosters and do what we do. All that we don't keep. We'll continue to do that. That's going to be a source of protein for our dogs, right? And I know some people might not think that... Um, Wow, why do you have to do it that way? Well, this is this is the homesteading lifestyle. This is what it means when you're trying to be more self-sustainable. That's what it means. That's what it looks like. Okay? So it's not always cute and flowers and and honeysuckle and birds and, and bees and all of that. You know, there there are so many different aspects to homesteading and trying to live a self-sustaining lifestyle. And some of it is just not pretty, you know, but that's just the fact. That's just a matter of fact about it. Okay. We process our own chickens, our own turkeys, our own ducks. We have quail, you know, we process all of these things to be able to sustain us. Okay. We're not vegetarian. So that's what we do. Okay. Now, when it comes to our boys, we want to do the same thing with our dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And Jackson loves vegetables. So it's not really difficult for Jackson because Jackson is going to eat. He'll eat whatever raw vegetables I chop up and feed it to him. He's going to eat it. <laughs> he loves vegetables, especially carrots and green beans. Okay. So you all, that's what we're going to do with all of these extra roosters. And it's just about that time as well. We've had them since, um, we've had them since last summer, late last summer. They are, let me see, December, December, January, they're about eight months old, you know. And so we allow them to free range and grow out and all of that for the sole purpose of being able to supplement feed for our boys, okay? So now we're not going to show that <laughs> in a video. We've already done a, a, food, a, a chicken processing video um, where we went into great detail about it. So um, if you want to see that, then I will post a link to that video as well. But that's what we're planning to do with our excess roosters. We're not selling them. We're not giving them away. We have a plan for them. And also, you are having an incubator that helps because we can incubate as many eggs as we like for the sole purpose of uh, raising hens for eggs or raising them for meat for our boys. We can do that, right? and process it for them in a way that is safe for them to eat without no seasonings and <laughs> won't be no curry powder and all of that. <laughs> but anyway, you all, that's the plan. Um, when it comes to our goat boys, we are weathering them. No, we're not processing them for meat. The weathers will be companions, okay? They will just be companion goats for Zeke and for Nina especially until we can get another doe for her because goats don't like to be alone so we have to make sure that each one has a companion okay but that's it you all i just wanted to talk to you all about what we're going to do with all of these eight additional roosters to the two that we keep primarily on the farm we have a rooster for the big hen house and we have a rooster for our chickens on the other side over there. We have some olive eggers over here and our regular brown egg layers are over here. And I think we have like um, 
four roosters over here or something like that. We got a lot of them. But the thing about those roosters is that they just jump over the fence. They free range. And then they jump back over at night and put themselves up. <laughs> they are birds, right? So you all, I just wanted to share that with you. That if you were thinking about, if you have a flock of birds, and I know times are getting crazy and you were thinking about, man, how am I going to continue to feed my dogs and all of that well that's one of the ways that we have come up with to be able to supplement their feed until we can get a constant a permanent solution for them in case things are just so expensive that we just can't afford to buy what we would normally buy for them <clears throat> you know we may have to buy a bag of feed for them and then just do like a half and half with the feed and the chicken to make the chicken i mean to make the um dog food last longer until we can figure out a way to completely make our own feed for the dogs right so that's where we are right now we're still learning but this is our step this is our first step to making sure that we are sustainable for us and our animals because if you are preparing you all you have to understand if you got animals, you can't forget about them. You can't forget about them. And so we certainly can't forget about our dogs. And we need to find a way to be able to feed them without, without the processed dog foods. Okay? So that's our goal. And I know some of you may know how to do that already. And if you do, we would love to hear about that in the comment section below. Tell us how you do it. Tell us how you feed your dogs without buying the processed dog foods out of the store. To make sure that the dogs are getting the protein that they need the nutrition that they need what do you do we certainly want to hear about that because we need to know y'all we trying to learn okay but that's gonna do it you all thank you all so much for joining me out here on the farm today i'm just getting a lot of work done because it's just about planting time we got another frost coming man i need to talk to y'all about that frost date thingy majiggy but anyway <laughs> can't go by that right now Thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload to our channel. Thank y'all for watching. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.